This is Inside Indiana, Editor-in-Chief Ken Bykoff with the instant reaction. The Hoosiers scored 24-17, win over Indiana State, and uh, that's about the best that you could say about, th about this game. You know, the Hoosiers uh, played well at times. Uh, other times, they weren't quite as good. Uh, they were up and down. They're still looking for consistency. The defense gave up some big plays. They gave up uh, nearly 200 yards rushing to ISU's uh, uh, Shakir Bell, which a lot of teams are going to do that this year. But, uh, you know, Indiana, again, at times they looked fine. Other times they struggled a little bit. There was some weird play calling along the way. But the bottom line is that the Hoosiers picked up uh, their first win of the season, uh, moving Kevin Wilson to 2-0 and against uh, FCS schools. But... You know, it, it really is a matter of uh, Indiana is going to have some positives to build on. Uh, Trey Roberson uh, looked good all night. Uh, you have a trio of running backs, Stephen Houston, D'Angelo Roberts, and Tevin Coleman, who all did some nice things along the way. Ted Bolzer had a long touchdown catch that was called back on a, on a pass interference penalty. But, again, Bolzer was a bigger part of the offense and looked, uh, looked solid at the very least, whereas last year, again, he was, he was a lot more hit and miss. He played like a guy that, that could be a weapon for him. Uh, uh, this year, so you know, Indiana had to hang on to win the game. They're, the punting game is going to need a lot of work. The defense uh, uh, needs some work. They did have a, a somewhat of a pass rush. They, they recorded, I think, four sacks on the night. Uh, most of the pressure came uh, up the middle from the defensive tackles. They didn't get much from the defensive ends. Uh, linebackers were, were just feeling their way out. But you know, again, this is going to be something that the Hoosiers can build on. At least they got a chance to hit other uh, other people and uh, walked away with the win. And not every team uh, ended up doing that today. But uh, they're going to regroup, come back. Uh, they've got to UMass next week. And uh, that, that, that's pretty much you know what, what the coaching staff was looking for, is to be able to get this under their belt, get them the joy of a win, and, uh, and move on to UMass. They did that. They come out, I, I think, relatively healthy. We didn't see anybody carted off the field. So uh, that's pretty much uh, your quick hit from right after the game. But uh, uh, until next time, this is Ken Bykoff uh, from Memorial Stadium.